Hello and welcome to this guided Lexio Divina Advent experience. Our reading today will come from the Gospel of Luke, the first chapter, starting with verse 26. Before we begin, let us take a few moments to center ourselves and prepare to open our heart and our mind to God. So let us start by taking some deep breaths, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And one more deep breath, breathing in as deep as feels comfortable. And breathing out. And now let your body find its own natural and comfortable breathing pattern. And let us turn to God in prayer. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for providing us with this opportunity. Help us to open our hearts and our minds to you, to how you may be speaking to us today, so that we may hear your word and share your word in this world. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. During this first reading, I invite you simply to listen and notice if there's a word or a phrase that seems to speak to you or just call to your attention. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Hear this reading now a second time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider how this word or this phrase may speak to you in your life right now. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. 
But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him to the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Hear this reading now a third time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider what God may be inviting or even encouraging you to do or to be through this word or phrase. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end.
Hear this reading one last time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to either pray silently, words with, with God, or simply sit in the presence of God. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, help us to be open to your word, even if it perplexes us. Help us to ponder what you offer us so that we may be open to how you may work in this world through us and through others. Guide us, love us, and lead us, and it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.